told him, don't ever do it again. And he said, I'll do it again. Psych, <laughs> and I'll do it again. Here's a fun fact. Stephanie sleeps like a pig. I'll do it again. Bye -bye. vlog so as you guys are watching this right now in real time my fiance is about to do something so dumb so stupid that I don't know if he's gonna be alive later so I'm just gonna get this over with right now okay I do not condone this video don't do this at home guys <laughs> <laughs> but before we get into that video, I just want to say, listen, maybe you're dating someone and you don't really feel like it's a good relationship. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe you feel like your significant other is not, you know, mature enough to have a baby yet. <laughs> Where is this going? Today's vlog is sponsored by Simple Health. If you guys don't know, Simple Health is an online, affordable, convenient, and confidential birth control service because especially, hey, listen, we're still in a pandemic. Have you checked the U.S.? numbers recently. Meanwhile, doing TikTok dances, have you? I still try not to go out unless I absolutely have to. I mean, like getting groceries, all of these are essentials. But you know what's crazy? The idea is so crazy to me that there are some of you that are still driving to your doctor's office, skirt, skirt, scurrying into your parking spot, reverse park that bit, okay? And then going to your doctor, waiting in the waiting room with your mask on, then getting prescribed a birth control, then doing the same process at a CVS, at a Rite Aid, and then repeating every single month. What I do is I sit on my couch and I click the link in my description and I fill out my health profile on Simple Health. They have licensed OBGYNs and physicians who are gonna take a look at it and say, okay, according to our lifestyle and her preferences, we are gonna prescribe this birth control for her because they have over a hundred different brands of the pill, the patch, and the ring. And this is all done on the comfort of my couch. Now, once that's done, they prescribe that to me and I still wait on the comfort of my couch for them to ship it to me with free shipping every single month. Birth control, ding dong, straight to your door, bitch. Straight to your door every single month and you never have to get off the couch. Like literally for the entire month and the next month and then the month after that, just don't ever leave your couch. <laughs> <laughs> and it's amazing because let's say you're quarantining with your family or your your roommates or you just don't want people to know all up in your business maybe you got some nosy neighbors the packaging is super confidential so it doesn't tell everyone that you're on birth control and I know what you're thinking lifesavers are expensive it's going to take an arm and a leg it's not because that's the whole point of simple health they want birth control to be easy for you so if you guys have health insurance simple health accepts most health insurances making it a completely free process and if you don't have health insurance don't worry, a lot of us don't. It starts at $15 a month. If you check the link or use code BIS at checkout, you get a free consultation. Thank you, Simple Health, for sponsoring today's video because it is very obvious and it is clear and it is evident that my fiance is not mature enough to have a baby right now. Let me show you the shenanigans right now. Nobody told me my hair looks like this. Hi, welcome back to our prank channel because this is what this channel has turned into. So Stephanie has uh, pranked me recently. By the way, she still passed the f out. As always, I woke up this morning because I'm really excited to return the favor. You guys know that she pranked me recently with her pregnancy. That was a pretty good one. Like, that was decent. That was probably the first prank video that she did. That actually got me a little bit scared. So yeah, I gotta return the favor. Ever since I shaved my head, I've been kind of joking with her that I'm gonna just bleach my head when she wake up one day and she has threatened me every single time that she's gonna break up with me if I ever do that. Um, of course I'm gonna do it. I order something from Amazon. It's this product called Mofa. I think it's Chinese. It's, it says Mofa Jiang, which is magician. It's not a real hair dye. It's a temporary hair dye. You just put it on your hair. It's silver. I, I'm not gonna bleach my hair because, you know, I'm not suicidal. But I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna tell her that I dye my hair and see what she thinks. I don't know why I do that. This is what it looks like. To everybody's surprise, I'm no longer bald anymore. I do have some hair now. It's at a very, very awkward length. If you guys ever shave your head, you know everything just grows out like this. So instead of a potato, I basically look like a uh, kind of like a kiwi. Very hairy everywhere, but it's not very stylish. Kind of awkward. Here's Funny and perverted at the same time. 
Yeah, I look like one of those. No, I actually really like it. But should I dye my eyebrows too? Do people dye their eyebrows? I think I'm gonna try it. The worst thing is I can just take it off, right? So I'm gonna get some dye for the eyebrows. Oh my god. Oh, that's a little too much. Oh my god, no, 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 no that's not good. Okay, don't do eyebrow, guys. Don't do eyebrows. <laughs> Actually on camera it looks more black than silver, but in person it looks a lot more silver. I think we're gonna go wake up Stephanie and surprise her. This is what the signs look like. Just wanna give you guys a better, better look. Here's a fun fact. Stephanie sleeps like a pig. Good morning! Good morning, sunny side up. Hi. Good morning. You don't like my new hair? Why don't you like my new hair? Stop! Stop! Why did you do that? You don't like it? It looks good though, it suits me. What, you don't like it? I thought you always make fun of my hair. So I want to do something different, make it a little more fun. I told you to stop messing with your hair while I'm asleep. Do you want to dye it back to black? No, you're gonna kill your hair. It already looks dead. Okay, I know it's okay. It looks really good. But why? What I just wanted to reason? change. You keep calling me bald. Wait, this didn't make you less bald. Well, this makes me a more mature bald. <laughs> you like it or no? It looks gray on this side. It looks like you're old. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. Mature bald. Mm. You don't think this suits me? No. Yeah. Looks like this is not going as well as I planned. I <laughs> thought she would be really happy and what excited. What did you plan? What did you think my reaction was gonna be? Like, oh my god, honey, wow, let's make out. I mean, that's what I do when you get through your new hair. Well, honey, I'm just gonna say good morning to your mom real quick. Good morning. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I just finished getting ready. The last time that you guys saw me just now was me in bed before I got ready. I had woken up. This this happened with his fucking hair. Last time he shaved his head. He shaved his head in the middle of the night. I woke up to his bald ass head and I was so confused and I did not comprehend and I did not understand and it took me like five minutes for my brain cells to just come together. The two that I have, they just fused together and then I was like, Oh my god, this mother forker really just shaved his head while I was asleep and I told him don't ever do it again Don't ever do it again. Don't ever do it again. And he said I'll do it again <laughs> And then he fucking dyed his hair while I was sleeping into this weird ass shade I don't even know what shade this is. You look like you just saw and pepper. Is that what it's called on the salt packaging? Yeah you look weird. <laughs> did you bleach it correctly? It looks like you didn't bleach the top of your head. You just like did the sides. So it's like. <laughs> so you don't like it? I like it. You think you can get used to it? I think I can get used to you wearing a hat. How was the surprise? The surprise was horrendous. I was honestly more annoyed than shocked. I'm sorry if my reaction was kind of mean. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't think that you would be that type of person Maybe. that would die your whole head head for a vlog okay for a vlog can we like show it to your family and my family so my mom is usually the nicest out of all of my family members if you guys remember the last video where you shaved his head my mom was probably the nicest person to him just saying like you look cute like you just look so young and just so innocent and so handsome like you look so adorable and this morning my mom goes you've got that haraji hair which is like <laughs> you've got some grandpa hair so I don't know if the rest of my family is gonna be nice to you at all but let's try facetiming my sister okay I have a surprise I'm vlogging so be not be I almost choked <laughs> I said be nice <laughs> okay ready guys Appa. Huh? <laughs> See, I guys, dyed my hair my sister she said what happened and he said why that oh, color y'all like the color or what you look like you're 50 yeah <laughs> Seems like they like it. He says that it looks like you went out in the winter and snow fell onto your head. Oh. So, so he's calling his grandparents right now. His grandparents are, they were probably the meanest about his haircut last time. <laughs> but he said it was ugly. Hey, what the scene told you? He 
He's an eye, you ugly. <laughs> 不好看。Okay, ugly, ugly. He wants to see you. 你好吗？你好吗？ Okay, he's gonna show grandma. Can I ask something? 你们吃了吗？老师吃了，这什么时候还吃啊 ？What do you say? He said you always ask him as you ate. What time is it? Like, he's a good guy. She said I look like an old man. Oh, now give mama come come on. Your mom come? You gonna show your mom? Oh no. This one 好像你爸爸头发哎。She said I look like my dad. Why here? 不好看啊。那我就先先挂了，去哭一会儿哈。去<笑> say as long as you're stuck home, don't go out. It's fine. Oh no. Okay, 好，拜拜。I told them we're gonna die blue in two days. You're not. Look at how awkward I was while your phone call. I even clipped my hair. I just like don't know what to do with myself. I'll call my sister and my dad and be like, guess what you did today? And then I'm like, did you guys eat? I can't believe your grandpa just called me out like that. He's like, you just always ask that. Like, what time is it? It's like just constantly asking about the same thing over and over and over. <laughs> that is so rude. Why well, he wants you to learn some other phrases? Learn something else better. Like, learn something. What do you want to know about? Like, honestly, what do you want to know? Get to know them. Hey, what do you want to know about my mom? How does she look so young and so good? She said, thank you. <laughs> she said, thank you. <laughs> well, um, everybody is really unimpressed, or they hate it, and everybody says that you look old. Mm. Honey, <laughs> yes, you know it's fake, right? My hair. <laughs> you, you know it's fake, right? It's just like hair gel. Shut up! How long does it last? Like I can wash it off right now. Shut up! It's hair gel. I thought you sucked it down your hair, and so you had it patchy. <laughs> you can't tell. No. It's fake. Oh my god! I love you. <laughs> Got him. You are so stupid. <laughs> Hi. So guess what I found out just now? It's temporary hair gel. Oh. Cindy, you just got pranked. Did I? <laughs> She said, "Did I though?" <laughs> so anticlimactic. <laughs> Nobody's impressed. <laughs> okay, so he's decided to go wash off his hair gel. I don't know if it's gonna wash off at this point. I don't know what's going on with your hair. I am like just gonna emotionally detach from your hair. He just screamed my name from the fucking bathroom. I don't know what's going on. What's going on? It doesn't wash off. Okay, sure. No, seriously, it doesn't wash well, off. Well, open the bathroom door. If it doesn't wash off, it's fine. Just open the door. It's weird now. She's panicking. I know. Jokes on you, bro. It's okay. Just open the door. Unlock the door. And you have to open the door because someone pooped on our rug. <laughs> Here. <laughs> I told you, someone pooped on our rug, and you're so busy. I'll do it again, but 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 you didn't even open the door for me. I don't understand. You didn't get me. This is like when a dad thinks that he's finally pranking his kids, but the pranks are so lukewarm. <laughs> a few moments later. You mother forking! I'm sick of your shit. Do you understand to be? Okay, so I sat you down because I actually got you presents. I know you、yeah. like to prank me, and I like to give you presents. It's kind of weird because I feel like maybe I'm the better person in this relationship. I don't even know.、Huh. The first thing, I mean, both of them are from a Korean website called Olive Young. Does it suck? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, it sucks. Okay, so the first thing is I know that you love slippers. You wear lots of house slippers. People make fun of your house slippers. He loves efficiency. He loves multi-purpose items. He loves to work out and listen to audio books. He loves to work out and listen to stupid podcasts,、um, rotten mango, and do all of these things because he loves efficiency. Because I love my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> But what about what about when you're just sitting or when you're standing or walking around the house? Are、yes. you being as efficient as? You possibly can be. I could be more efficient. That's true. Which is why I got you these. 
These are your new house sandals that have therapeutic stones on the bottom. Look at that one. That one looks like a mother forker. It's like stepping on a Lego. Well, I'm about to try. It's so freaking bad. I'm about to try. It's like a torture. Oh, it feels comfortable. Hold on. That's what I thought. Now walk. Ow! Uh huh, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I have to take these off. Ow! Here, try these. Why are you wasting money on these? How much was this? $11. The worst feeling is when you step on Legos. <laughs> <laughs> this is like walking a mile on Legos. <laughs> Just every step is a Lego. Every step is literally Lego. Wow. Okay, well this one I think you'll have a lot more fun with, okay? Mm -hmm. This one also is another efficient device. Massage? You put it on, it massages the hand while you massage. Oh yeah. So you're trying to make me massage you. Wow, if you insist. <laughs> oh, whoa, Tiger loves it. Oh, he doesn't even know what to do with himself anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is literally shook it. Ooh. Do you like it? Oh my god. It feels really good. Oh my god. Okay, you don't have to make those noises. Honey, what? you don't have to massage your chest or your tummy. Who, who massage? Uh, <laughs> I don't think you're using it right. Does it feel good though, or are you just it's saying really it feels good. good? No, this one's pretty good. Okay, what I'm is, really glad. How much was this this one? one was like $10 as well. Now, let me show you what I'm actually excited about. I got you some gifts, and then I got right. me some gifts. <laughs> I got me some more gifts, and then I got you gifts. So these are what I Instagram storied a couple weeks ago, and you guys seem to really like it. I mean, some of you guys thought it was tacky. Rude. But I loved it. It was amazing. So I got these Dashing Divas. That's the brand of this company. I think they sell them at Ulta, but when I look online at Ulta, they're nowhere near as cute as they are on Olive Young, which is the Korean website. So I'm assuming the, the Korean versions are released differently because all of the rest of the packaging is in Korean. So they probably don't, I don't know if they have the same styles at Ulta. I couldn't find it online. And so I got this one. And okay, I forgot to tell you guys what these are. So these are gel stick ons. So they're like, like a press-on manicure, but it's not press-on and you don't need glue It's a sticker that you file away from your nail You just stick it onto your nail and then you file the rest off and it stays on your nails for like a solid week Now the only issue that I have is that I don't want to put them on yet because my nails aren't long enough I feel like these nails only look good when your nails are long and I'm waiting them to grow I decided to be a little smart and buy them off of Etsy too. I'd rather support some Etsy people than buy from like a giant corporation, right? I'm conflicted. I mean, I feel like it's really pretty, but at the same time, not really a nail. Does that make sense? Like, it looks like pretty planner stickers more than yeah, anything. Yeah, it looks like a planet sticker, yeah. Planet sticker? <laughs> no, but these kind of look like planner stickers, whereas these, I feel like, little, look a little bit more like real nails. Like, they look like a manicure. I mean, I don't know. I personally so far like these, but I haven't tried putting these on my nails. I don't know if they're going to last longer. I will say, though, they look nothing like why the don't, Why don't people do this earlier? I think it's so much more time uh, efficient. It's cheaper, saves mm -hmm. money. You oh. can change it more frequently. Only. All right, now that he's done with his TED talk. But reason, you know what? It's your body. It's your freedom. Do whatever you want. I'm out. Honey, you can't just walk away. Honey, at least wear the, the Lego shoes. <laughs> Here's the thing. I think that these are great, but you can't change the shape of your nail. I like to go to the nail salon because they add on those fake nails that make it look so long. But with these, it's your real nail. I prefer this over nail polish though. So, I mean, the ones on Etsy are good, but they don't necessarily, I feel like it's just a little something. I don't know. I might try these in a later vlog because again, I'm waiting for my nails to grow, but that's what I got from all of you. I saw a lot of people being like, where'd you get that? On my Instagram story. So this is where I got it. I ordered some new ones. It's the same place that I got the massagers. Shoes. We don't recommend. <laughs> the Lego shoes. But you know what I do recommend? Simple health, baby. I'm just not ready for it. And every day that my sister is pregnant, the more I realize how unready I am for it because they seem so ready. And recently, please leave it in the comments if you guys have been dealing with something like this or have ever dealt with something like this. But my sister's fiance is claiming that he has this, this condition where the significant other that is not pregnant will actually feel very realistic pregnancy symptoms. Exactly. Like stomach ache, nauseous, 
tired, fatigue. Well, like he our, feels like he's pregnant. Yeah, he gets headaches along with my sister. So let me know if you guys have ever dealt with something like that because he thinks he's going crazy. He's like, there's no way this is real. Like, I think I'm losing my mind. We think he's losing his mind, but we also believe that it could be very well true. So let us know in the comments and make sure to check out Simple Health. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh!